Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name is Alexander, I'm a Porsche sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach and thank you so much for the engagement with my YouTube channel. If you like my walk around videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, feel free to comment down below or send me an email which my email address will be in the video description. Today's walk around video is this chalk colored 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera Cabriolet. The model code is the 992. This is the latest generation Porsche 911 and now completes 8th generations of this iconic sports car. As mentioned earlier, this specific color is chalk, the color code 3H. For the American uh, market known as chalk, for the European market this color is called crayon. Crayon or chalk is one of the specialty paints for the Porsche 911 and was introduced a few years back on the 991 generation 2. In the front we can see that this one has the LED headlights. Now LED headlights is standard for the latest generation 911 with a beautiful inner housing and with the iconic 4 point daytime running lights. The front fascia is the standard design. Now this specific one does have the optional surround view camera system which the 992 is the first generation 911 to have this technology available for, for the 911. The 992 generation 911 was heavily inspired design wise by the 930 turbo. Noticeable is the length of the front hood, the very angular lines creating a very sporty, aggressive front fascia and a much wider appearance uh, versus the previous generation 991, which was called the 901, I'm sorry. Some of the width can also be seen here in the front fender design, significantly wider as what was used on the 991 generation, really creating this iconic shape of the Porsche 911, both in the front as in the rear. Optionally equipped on this one is also the Carrera S design wheels. Normally the Carrera model carries a 19 inch front wheel and a 20 inch rear wheel, but this one has been upgraded to the Carrera S wheels, which is 20 inch in the front and 21 inch in the back. Next to the upgrade of the wheel itself, also these wheels have been painted in satin black, which is matte black, which is a factory upgrade, and automatically therefore also the Porsche crest is colored in the center of the wheel. Now the Carrera model carries a black uh, uh, brake caliper and also the Porsche letters are finished in white on that specific brake caliper. Performance wise the 0 to 60 on the Carrera Cabriolet with PDK transmission and sport chrono package is 0 to 60 in 4 seconds and a top track speed of 180 miles per hour. Let's continue the tour with this one having the surround view camera system we can also see the other cameras placed in the lower element here of the rear view mirror. This one also has the comfort access feature for the new 911 and of course the new 911 carries now these flush door handles instead of the 991 still having the door handles on top of the door. Going to the rear we can see again the extra width of the 992 body versus the previous generation creating this beautiful wide design on the 911. The Porsche letters incorporated in the LED tail lights which is standard for the new 911 and this one has a model designation change. Now normally on the back it would say 911 Carrera but the owner of this specific 911 decided to remove the Carrera name and move 911 to the center part of the rear bumper. Optionally equipped on this one is also the sport exhaust system, recognizable by the large oval shaped exhaust pipes, one on the left, one on the right. The sport exhaust system available in two different exhaust tip colors. Now this one has the optional high gloss black version of the sport exhaust, but the exhaust tips are also finished uh, available, I should say, in silver uh, chrome color. The backup camera is standard for the 992 generation 911. Now this was also introduced a few years back on the 991 generation 2 and carried over now to the 992. So backup camera including parking sensors in the front and back. Engine wise, this is a 3 liter turbo flat 6 producing officially 379 horsepower. And like I mentioned earlier, sounds great right guys? And like I mentioned earlier, 379 horsepower, creating a top track speed for this one of 180 miles an hour and a 0 to 16 4 seconds. Now this is the rear wheel drive version 911. The Carrera model is also available as a Carrera 4, which would be an active all wheel drive version of the 911. But here in the Florida market, the rear wheel drive version is much more common. Looking at the back, we can see the new design for the engine which is very cool with the slats are 9 on the left, 9 on the right and then the 2 in the center which is the third brake light and of course if you combine these numbers 992 is also a very cool way of uh, designing this rear engine deck. The rear spoiler for the 992 is significantly larger as the previous generation Porsche 911 about 25% and you can really notice that in the shape here of the fenders where the rear wing really integrates in that design shape. 
Let's take a look here on the inside. This one has the black interior, the standard interior package. Like I mentioned earlier, this one equipped with the Sport Chrono package. We can see the Sport Chrono clock on top of the dashboard. Multifunctional steering wheel is now standard for the latest generation 911. And down on the right of that steering wheel, you can see the optional driving mode switch. The 992 now also comes standard with a new driving mode called WET. So in this case, this specific 911 has wet mode, normal mode, sport mode, and sport plus mode. And of course, introduced a few years back on the 991 generation, uh, sorry, 991 generation 2, the optional sport response button in the center part of the uh, sport driving mode switch. This one also has the comfort access, so the keyless entry to the Porsche 911. Door handles, by the way, now also flush. Very different design to what the 991 was, the previous generation 911. And the main reason for this was aerodynamic purposes. Let's take a better look on the inside. Now all cabriolets, by the way, are soft tops. Of course, the classic way of building a cabriolet. And it's also for weight saving purposes, as typically a soft top weighs less as a hard top construction. Again, taking a better look on the inside, we can see this one has the 14-way power seats with memory. Now the seats have also been redesigned from the 991 generation. So if you haven't had a chance to sit in the new 992 seats, definitely make sure you do because it feels quite different versus the previous generation. All 992s come standard with an 8-speed PDK transmission. The previous 911, the 991 generation used a 7-speed PDK, but now the latest one is an 8-speed. You can see there the gear selector in the center part, but manual transmission is still available um, as an optional as the standard is now PDK. PCM navigation system, the largest screen we've ever used in the Porsche 911, beautifully incorporated in the new dashboard design. The same with the toggle switches in the center and the instrument cluster in front of the steering wheel is also much more digital. Now, if that is turned on, you're going to notice still the beautiful classic round circles that is being used by Porsche to really go back to the historic design of Porsche 911 dashboards. And this is the same for this wing shape element in the center part of the dashboard, which is very similar to, for example, the 901 generation 911. Beautiful specification. This one has all the core specs that I really love about this car. So the wheel upgrades, the color combination with black and chalk, the seat ventilation on these 14-way power seats, the sport chrono package and sport exhaust system, a very well-balanced car, both elegant as sporty and just a beautiful overall appearance. Again, thank you so much for watching my YouTube videos on the YouTube channel. My name is Alexander, Porsche sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach. Please like my videos, share my videos if you can, and again, please subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. Please be safe out there and see you next time. Bye-bye.